What's up, everyone? I'm back at it. The ABCs of uh, communication, connection, speaking. Today, we are on the letter G. And I did get some really good suggestions for this one. G is for grammar. Grammar, grammar, grammar. And I never really talk about like just grammar when it comes to speaking and communicating. I, I never really talk about it. So since I got a whole bunch of letters to go, uh, I figured I'd dive into a space that might not always be thought about, but I think is something that is a silent consideration, right? Okay, what up everybody? Push through fitness is in the house. Um, so in this space of communication, connection, and in speaking, uh, there's always this consideration to uh, speaking or, or talking professional, especially if we're talking about the business arena, if we're talking about, you know, certain settings where, I don't know, I would just put it like this. There's a lot of pressure sometimes to sound professional, to sound well put together. Uh, I'm gonna say especially for black people because there are stereotypes that we're constantly rebuking. Um, there are preconceived notions that are put on us that we don't ask for. So a lot of times we feel like we have to alter the way that we show up. Um, you know, it's also known as respectability politics. So we, there's always kind of this back and forth. We constantly have to make a choice as to how we present ourselves. Some of us just do us. Some of us code switch. Um, some of us turn something off. Some of us turn something on. Um, it's hot in my car. I gotta keep, keep it a little blanket on here. Um, but the reality of it is, is, you know, there, there's a lot of thought that goes into it and it's, and the, the thought is so ingrained in us that we don't even realize sometimes that we are altering specifically to protect ourselves from negative stereotypes so that we don't get discriminated against furthermore, as if just the color of our skin isn't enough. Okay. But we show up and we try to be polished we talk professionally which that's a whole let it loaded word uh push through says yes the pressure to code switch is real and we already got through the letter c and we could have totally talked about code switch um but you know for those of you who don't know code switching is where you really change uh and it kind of goes even broader than this but code switching is you know when you change the way that you speak uh, in order to assimilate, in order to fit in. Um, you change the way that you pronunciate your words, uh, the type of words that you use, the energy that become, that comes behind it. Um, you, you basically switch it up. Um, there's a, a good movie with Lakeith Stanfield. You know, we all, you know, get on the phone and I'm gonna just make it plain. We put on a white voice, hello. Hi, yes. Okay, no, no, no. I understand. I <laughs> No, no, it's all good. It is. It's it's and even all good is a little bit too black, okay? Yeah, no, I totally I totally understand. No, it's good. All right. Yeah, if you need anything, okay. All right. Bye-bye. You get off the phone and you be like, "Girl, if she call me one more time." <laughs> so, the point I'm trying to make is we change the way that we speak. And, and I use grammar as kind of that, that word that connects the, the, the word choices that we use. Oh, you know, you say some things and you even say to yourself, oh my gosh, that's not grammatically correct. But when you're speaking, when you're using verbal communication, um, being grammatically correct, I don't, I don't put a whole heck of a lot of value in that. Um, there are some things that you can get away with. I be, I be going to the store. I be showing up. I've been showing up on this live. Um, I ain't going for that. I ain't going for this. I ain't going for that. Like there are even things that I say all the time that are definitely not gr grammatically correct. And I'm okay with that. I do try to find some balance cause I am an adult. Hi, Mrs. Brand. 
Oh, Brandy, I was about to say Brand Diary. Girl, I'm just reading all this stuff back backwards. Brandy Ray, what up, Robert? Legendary in the house. So in the space of speaking and being grammatically correct and how we communicate, it, it puts a pressure on us. And it, it's something that we, we subtly think about, we perhaps even subconsciously consider uh, when we're showing up in certain spaces. And we turn it off and we turn it on. We wanna be polished, we wanna be professional, uh, we wanna speak, wanna be grammatically correct. Um, but oftentimes that could stifle just our ability to communicate the way that it feels in here. Um, and that's, it's a whole nother filter that we put on ourselves. And when we talk about showing up as ourselves, being comfortable in our own skin, uh, being authentic, there's a lot of programs and there's a lot of filters that we naturally put on ourselves that really diminish our ability to show up authentically. Now, I talk about judgment. I talk about discernment. I'm not saying that if you in a whole corporate ass meeting again listen to me if you ain't in a whole corporate ass meeting you know there there's there's culture in certain spaces um but how we navigate those and and the choices that we make we want to really take ownership of the choices that we make and how we communicate um it's deciding that i can and i also feel empowered by how I decide I want to speak, regardless of whether or not it meets your queen's English. Is that what they call it? Well, they used to call it that, right? Regardless of whether or not it meets your queen's English or it's grammatically correct. Um, that autonomy is, is what makes you feel empowered to be you, which is what makes you feel comfortable being you when you show up in places. I'm, I ain't even going to trip. Sometimes. I do be switching it up, but not a whole lot. Not a not a whole lot. Not a whole lot. I I actually use my ability to be not grammatically correct. No, to be grammat grammatically incorrect as a way to build rapport. As a way to give people permission to not be so stiff, buttoned up, tightened up, freaking just like they holding their breath the whole time. Relax, relax. So when I talk about grammar, as this is the ABCs of communication, connection, and speaking, um, there's there are opportunities for us to observe and be aware and let go, hey Marisha Poo, um, of some of these filters. It has to be a balance. Push through says, me too. It's an icebreaker strategy and it works. What's good? You know, one thing about my company, uh, Speak House, is, is we really, one, we want to be bold. One, one we want to be authentic to who we are. I created my own company for a reason. And so, for example, when we had to put together our generic kind of email, um, we decided like, oh, what is it going to be? Is it going to be hello at speakhouse.com? Should it be... Um, info at speakhouse.com you know should it be hi at speakhouse.com and when i think about how I, how i naturally show up and what i naturally be saying i usually be like what's good what's good y'all how y'all feeling so that is our like generic email hey saya saya i had a whole last dream about you yesterday we were like on vacation or something and but we were by a pool because we were like passing out a lot of towels it was kind of like we had a, a a rental property anyways hey saya um but you know in, in that space is it's what's good at speakhouse.com that is true to who i am and i practice what i preach you know what i mean so I ain't gonna tell everybody, you know, let go of the grammar, or be professional, or don't be professional. And then I go off and I do something that's not authentic to what I'm, what I'm preaching. So if y'all need to get in contact with us, send us an email at what's good at speakhouse.com. And that's S-P-E-A-K-H-A-U-S, right? Um, but that's an example. And so when we think about grammar and how it shows up in the way that we communicate, 
especially if you're trying to unlearn, especially if you're trying to kind of remove some of these filters, if you know that there's space and opportunity for you to show up and just relax, I don't even wanna just say be more authentic because some people's authentic self is being grammatically correct. But if being grammatically correct in the way that you speak ain't it, then give yourself some space to just be like, to just be like, to just be like. And when I say these things, y'all be understanding. And there is some research about the African-American vernacular English that you, that uses B as an actual, they say that it is a more accurate tense, like past tense, future tense, present tense. It's, it's an active present tense, I believe. If anybody is in education and can, can back me up on this, um, it's something that I read. And I do wanna get more into it because on another note, talking about grammar is we have the opportunity to legitimize, to credibilize, that's not a real word, but we have, we have an opportunity to legitimize African-American vernacular English. And 